a chorus, a verse, a bridge, a pre-chorus. What does all this mean? There's words and jargon that many people need to learn, right? So I'm here to teach you the things that I've learned recently. I'm Alan Spicer and this is a tutorial from Open Mic UK on artist development. Now when you're writing a song there's elements of that song that you you need to think of. There's the hook, there's the verse, there's the chorus, a pre-chorus, a bridge. Some of these phrases, some of these words can be confusing. So I'm here today to help break down what those mean into slightly more human speak so you can learn it and hopefully it can help you progress in writing content in future. So what's a hook? The hook, whether a vocal hook or a melodic instrumental music hook, is the thing that brings people in. This could be at the start of a song or it could be leading up into specific parts of your track but most notably it's normally at the start just like any other YouTube video for example here. What I do on YouTube with all of my videos including the ones here is I tell you what to expect from the video. It's no different than a hook on a track. It sets the mood, it sets the tone. Whether it's that twinkling melody at the start that tells you that it's a love song, something sad, whether it's the beat that gets you hooked because you know it's going to be up tempo, whether it's those lyrics that fade in or start to tell you a story, a thumping beat, there's always something. I mean if you listen to the radio you'll you'll hear it over and over again. The start of each song is quite distinctive, it pulls you in, it tells you it's arrived and you know what that song is very quickly. But I get it, in your head you're thinking, yeah, yeah but I, I remember the chorus mostly, not the hook. So what's the difference between a hook and a chorus? There's often confusion between a hook and a chorus. Now a hook can be a chorus, but not always. Hence the reason they're often mixed up. Both are often catchy, but a hook doesn't fit the format of a chorus. And a hook can often work well in other sections of a song, overlaid or introducing, a melody or something that, that keeps people familiar with the track. In fact, a song may have a chorus, but not a hook, or even a hook but no chorus. Although most songs will have both. Now if you're struggling there are websites out there that have hook generators. Although it isn't ultimately perfect if you want to release it in the end. It at least gives you some kind of guidance, some kind of inspiration, something that you can go down in the long run. So normally you start with a hook, there's some form of chorus or a verse. What is a verse? Well the verse is the start of the story, the start of the song outside the catchy middle bit. This is normally where a narrative is told or expanded upon. These normally sandwiched between choruses. So it'd be an intro with a hook, a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus. It's a structure that most people are used to. The chorus is the thing that becomes the earworm, but the verse is the thing that gives you all those inspirational words, all those quotes that you see splashed across Instagram. It gives a little insight into the song or the psyche or the mood of the song. It drives the main message home. Pre-chorus, this is something that breaks up the pattern a little bit between the verse and the chorus. This builds into a chorus, building anticipation. You'll chorus this is your meat and potato it repeats lyrically and musically it's the payoff that people are waiting for in the song now we have a bridge and this one's not made out of bricks and over water it's a tool to break up the repetitiveness of the song it could be an instrumental element it could be a key change it could be a mood change maybe consider a break this is a change of instrument or a switch to percussion very much like a pre-chorus this is something that can build up to the the final crescendo of a song that that final chorus that people are hunting for. Your final chorus is just that. It's the, it's almost the end of the song. It's the, the, the final release of the track. Normally repeated twice at the end. Something that people fade out to or they build up to and then just break off at, at the end. And then the outro. This is the thing that ends your track. This is the thing that people trail off on or, or skip back to the start of the track with. This could be a simple beat or a sliding melody or, or just fading away. These are all very common terms when writing a pop song. If you can get the right mix together, you can have something really catchy, something that could break you out into that mainstream. It's a, a real, true, tried and tested formula. And all you have to do is put your own twist on it. Now, if you need help in writing your own pop song, there's a video here. Or if you need other help with how to eat properly, how to relieve stress, how to perform in general, there's a playlist here on other artist development tutorials. Remember to subscribe for regular weekly videos and I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.